What a big, well now double bill, right? Christmas Day was wild. Boxing Day, much the same. Yeah, it's been a, a huge day weather-wise across eastern Australia. As you mentioned, these uh, severe to very dangerous thunderstorms, uh, particularly across Queensland, but also across New South Wales and Victoria as well. And there's more expected today. Uh, for coastal parts of Queensland and adjacent land areas, there's a risk again for very dangerous uh, thunderstorm cells, so that can bring intense to heavy rainfall and life-threatening flash flooding and as well uh, large to giant size hail and damaging to destructive winds. Um, and down in the south, we've got uh, for the southeastern quadrant of New South Wales, also the potential for severe thunderstorms, including for the Sydney area and for central and eastern parts of Victoria. That's likely to cause a headache for the boats heading down towards Tasmania and the Sydney to Hobart. Any update on the situation they're expecting through the day today? Well, just taking a look at the, the satellite imagery, you can see a really uh, large line of thunderstorms that moved offshore and moved through the Tasman Sea in the early hours of this morning, and that's tracking really slowly eastwards. So I, uh, within the, that line of thunderstorms there uh, would have been heavy rain for uh, the potential for, for damaging wind gusts and also hail as well. So um, I imagine challenging conditions for, for the sailors in that race. Yeah, I know there's some strong marine wind warnings as well. So essentially they're copying it from all angles. Angles. But back on land, oh, we've seen again some pretty big totals in the gauges, 100, 150 millimetres for some. Is it going to be another similar day today in terms of those totals? Yes, as you mentioned, it's, it's a really sort of stationary or, or unchanging weather pattern. We've had this low pressure system that's been sitting over northern Victoria or southern New South Wales, thereabouts, intensifying over the last few days. And it's going to be sitting there again today, bringing those uh, lines of thunderstorms and showers wrapping into that low pressure system with really high humidities as well, which increase the risk of heavy rainfall. Uh, however, that low pressure system is expected to start moving out into the Tasman Sea uh, later throughout today and into tomorrow and will start to clear the, the weather from the southeast uh, across southeastern parts of the country. And as well, a slight improving trend across Queensland throughout the today that the, the storms will be more isolated and for, by tomorrow they'll contract into the Wide Bay, Burnett and Capricorn area. So that's a, an improving trend really across eastern parts of Australia over the next 24 hours. Yeah, good news uh, for sure. And I've seen through the outlook, it looks like we might get another round of storms late in the weekend for southeastern Queensland. But I want to leave that for now and look to the other side of the country. This morning I woke up to some heavy rainfall warnings in WA's north, but it's really all about the heat over there now getting down into South Australia. What's the concerns with the heat wave? Well, of course, with those um, hot, dry and windy conditions, as you mentioned, they elevate the fire dangers through there. Uh, there's also the risk of um, dry lightning. There's a line of storms there, but they're from a, the cloud base is really high, so there's not a lot of rainfall associated with it, and that increases the risk of the ignition of, of fires with, with, the, with the lightning. So, yes, we've got the storms across the east of the country and the heat across the west.